Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 8, lesson 9, mixed numbers. Guys, first of all, understand that what are mixed numbers. You know that there are whole numbers like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, these are whole numbers. And there are fractions like 1 over 2, 3 over 4, these ones like this alone is a fraction. When we write a whole number, like this one is a whole number, and a fraction together, that is known as a mixed number, like 2 whole and 1 over 4. This is a mixed number. We write whole number and fractions together. Like when we have uh, something complete, we write whole numbers. When we have something incomplete, we write fractions. But when we have both together, like some things are complete and also incomplete things, so we write mixed numbers. Like here we have two complete apples and the third one is half. So we write two complete, two whole, one over two. How we read it guys, we read it in this way, two whole, one over two. 1 whole, 1 over 2. 1 is complete and the second one is half. This one they're talking about the inches. 2 whole, 1 over 4. Like that. Okay. Let's move to the next page here. See this guys. This uh, the length of the leaf from here to here. Till this one. So we can see we started from 0. The first inch is complete. The second one is complete. The third one is complete. And the fourth one is not complete. This is first one, second one, third one. Till here it is complete. But this one is not complete. And if you see these small boxes here, into how many parts we divided each inch? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So each one here, we have all 8 out of 8, so 1 whole. All 8 out of 8, so 1 whole. Here, the third one is complete, but the fourth one is not complete. So for the incomplete things, we write fractions. Okay, the total parts are 8, we counted here from all these. So we write in the denominator the total number of parts, 8. Out of 8, how many we have here in the fourth one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then we will join them all. 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3, and 3 whole and 6 over 8. Now you can see guys, we can simplify this fraction. Divide by what? Divide by 2 equals what? 3 as it is from here, 3 whole, because we didn't divide anything with 3, we divide it with a fraction. 6 divide 2, 3, and 8 divide 2, 4. This is your answer. Right here, 3 whole, 3 over 4, like that. Now they want you to write the answer in the sum of unit fractions. What are unit fractions, guys? Any fraction that have 1 in the numerator, it's known as unit fraction. So if it is 3 over 4, into how many unit fractions we can write it? Into 3. 1 over 4, 1 over 4, 1 over 4. When you add it, you will get again 3 over 4. 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3 over 4. You know that when we add the fractions, we only add the numerators, not the denominators because the denominator shows us the total number of parts and it never changes. Okay, so they break our fraction 3 whole 3 over 4 in 3 into 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3 and 3 over 4 into 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4. 2 are complete, so 2 whole and here 5 are shaded out of 6, 5 over 6. Similarly, this one, guys, independent practice. 
solve all these questions by yourself and match your answers from this video this one again they are breaking it into unit fractions this one is already unit fraction one in the numerator three they break it into one plus one plus one when you join it you will get three again here also and this one it is not in the unit fraction two over three so they make it one over three one over three when you join it you will get again two over three and this one one plus one here four so four ones and three over eight so three one over eights Alex has one whole orange and one fourth. One fourth means guys one over four. So one whole and one fourth. Uh, ha, her two dog, two whole dog biscuits, two whole and a half. Half you know that one over two. Write a real world problem. There's a problem and its solution. Also give me its uh, total guys here. In the comment box write two mixed numbers that are greater than three and less than four so if you write three whole and any fraction with it that will be more than three and less than four how are mixed numbers used in real world they describe parts of things that are greater than one whole i hope you guys understand the lesson if you really understand don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel learn math with mr Saab. thank you so much guys have a nice day